I want to make the case that everything you upload to YouTube should be in 4K. Whether you shot it in 4K, SD, HD, you should be uploading in 4K. And here's why. The reasoning behind this is the codecs that YouTube uses when you stream a video. Now, the old codec that YouTube uses was called AVC1, and that's where the school of thought came that you needed to compress your footage as much as you could before you upload it to YouTube so that the YouTube compression algorithm had less work to do. YouTube has introduced a new codec, though, called VP9, which is more efficient and it's built to deliver 4K content. Now, when you're streaming 4K, you're going to be streaming content at a higher bit rate just because there's more information in a 4K image than there is in an HD image. That's what we want to take advantage of. YouTube doesn't publish an exact bitrate number for playback in 4K, but they do recommend uploading 35 megabits per second to 45 megabits per second for your 4K files. And we know that this is higher quality than HD playback because for HD, they're looking for video files in the 8 to 15 megabits per second range. When you upload in HD, YouTube doesn't always use the new VP9 codec. They still use the legacy AVC1 codec on many HD uploads. Therefore, we need to be uploading in 4K to make YouTube use the VP9 codec for your uploads. So even if your video is captured in HD and then edited in HD, you still want to be exporting a 4K file at at least 40 megabits per second. When somebody streams your video that you've uploaded in 4K, they'll be using the VP9 codec, as well as if they're able to stream in 4K, they'll be streaming at a higher bit rate, which will render a sharper, cleaner file, regardless of what the native resolution of the file was. So that's the technical argument. What this boils down to is that 3840 by 2160, 40 megabits per second, that's how you should upload all of your content, whether you're capturing it HD or whether you're capturing natively at 4K for files to play back as best as possible on YouTube in 2020. I've definitely seen improved playback quality in my videos when doing this, and I think that you will too. All right, Drew, do your magic.